We went to Harper's Ferry to find out what abolitionist John Brown was thinking when he attacked the federal arsenal in October of 1859. We can summarize John Brown in one word, weapons. We had 100,000 weapons, rifles and muskets stored here in arsenals at Harper's Ferry. Brown believed he'd spark a slave rebellion. John Brown really had this well planned. He expected to get into Harper's Ferry, get out, take the weapons with him. He expected to have a lot of help. There were nearly 18,000 slaves in a six county area surrounding this town. So he did expect slaves to come and join him and that would be his principal labor source. Unfortunately, uh, he would be trapped and militia would surround him before any slaves arrived on the scene. Brown and his collaborators barricaded themselves inside the fire engine building. When the Marines, under the command of Robert E. Lee, stormed the building, he was captured. He was hanged two months later, but his bold ventures set off alarm bells throughout the South. There's absolutely no doubt that John Brown is a spark. In fact, you might even call him a, a huge burning log that's thrown right into the powder keg, and it explodes. And so there's no doubt that he sent us on the road to war. 